The forty-third lesson. The carrot runs away to Africa. Continued. The engine roared and the lorry swung forward. Mr. Dale put his right hand out of the cab window. Goodbye, Lily. Keep an eye on the carrot, Mr. Dale cried, waving his right hand to the girl. But Lily could not say a word in reply. There was a lump in her throat. She stood motionless with her eyes full of tears. Look, Tom, the girl is almost in hysterics, Mrs. Dale remarked. I didn't even suspect that she was so fond of you, Tom. Well, what do you expect? The girl grew up with our children. She's a part of our family, isn't she? No wonder she takes the parting so much to heart, Mr. Dale said. When the lorry was out of sight and the crowd dispersed, Lily took a letter out of her pocket and re-read it for the third time. It was a last farewell from Jimmy the Carrot to Miss Lillian Christine. It ran as follows. My dear little friend, when you read this letter, I shall be driving to the wharf, sitting in the back of my father's lorry under the green tarpaulin. You may be sure I'll be there. I can trust you as I've never trusted anybody in my life. I know you'll keep my secret. Give Sam all the books that we hid under Rumbo's kennel and tell him I'll remember him forever and shall bring him a talking parrot. Tomorrow, when you come home from school, your carrot will be sailing on the deck of a big ship and then you may go to my mother and tell her that her son Jimmy Dale is safe and sound as well as his faithful Rumbo. Tell mother that I'll bring her the finest ostrich feathers from Africa. I'll bring a little elephant for Polly. As for you, my faithful friend, I'll bring all the treasures of the Sahara Desert and the largest lion skin, and I shall kill the lion myself. But now I give you this little statuette as a keepsake. Remember me to all the boys. I remain, yours faithfully, Jimmy the Carrot. I've known all the time who got that job for my father. I saw you come out of Mr. Trant's office with a letter in your hand. Thank you with all my heart. Lily took the statuette out of her pocket. It was a painted statuette of a small four-year-old boy in dark blue trousers and a green shirt. The statuette had red hair, red ears, red cheeks and a red nose as small as a button. Its eyes were as blue as the sky. Jimmy had made the statuette with his pocket knife out of a small piece of wood and had painted it himself. Lily sighed. It was all that Jimmy the carrot had left to his little friend.